If you count the illegal votes, they can try to steal the election from us. All eyes on Donald Trump as he attacks the very foundation really, uh, of democracy. Will not allow the corruption to steal such an important election. Repeating lies of a rigged Ohio. election and illegal votes in the battleground states. His supporters taking their cue from the president. Are you guys ready to fight for this election? And while you might be excused for thinking you're watching the end of America's democracy, this political expert says it's under attack, but it hasn't surrendered. You know, even though it's an incredibly tight race, um, I mean, you're seeing a, a change, a change in power. Greg Anderson teaches political science at the University of Alberta. He's also an American citizen. He says Trump's claims are dangerous, but insists democracy is alive and well. In spite of the pandemic, people have decided that they've got to get out and make their voices heard, and they've done so in record numbers. Prime Minister Justin Trudeau had to once again answer and deflect questions about the election and Trump's complaints. We will uh, continue to have confidence in uh, the uh, American institutions that have uh, managed their electoral processes over uh, many decades and indeed centuries. While things may seem uncertain, one thing remains clear. Trump's presidency will have a legacy and it won't be good. Four years of Trump has done more damage to American political institutions and the democratic process generally, the transparency, uh, of governance, the faith that Americans have in uh, in political institutions, the institutions of government, the justice system. Bottom line, says Anderson, the next president needs to unite the people. In Edmonton, Rochelle Sufi, City News.